flag is not my friend. I will tell you that. It's not my friend. <sighs> I have been back from Italy for approximately three days. And it's just, the body is not adjusting super well. It's been okay. Like it's gone through phases of like, oh, oh good. Today was theoretically my best day yet. I woke up at seven. That, that was my goal. I was like, that's when I've made it. That's when I'm back, I'm adjusted. But for some reason, the energy didn't hit this morning, but we're gonna be fine. Today's the first Monday back since I've come home and I'm ready to grind. I'm ready to like crush it. I'm sick of my own shit. And today I'm getting my shit together, theoretically. <laughs> worked up in my office in so long that being up here feels really good actually. I am a sucker, a sucker for a fresh start. And that can mean anything. Obviously, you know, start of a new year, I'm a sucker for that. First day of the month, you know, a Monday, especially a Monday after a long trip or even just a new day. But I like to go for the Monday thing. Anything can be a fresh start really, but I live for them. I feel like for some reason in my head, I need to find an excuse to start doing things that I wanna do. And like, okay, well, I'll do that on Monday. You know, I'll give myself some time to work up to that. And then, and then I never follow through. Well, not never, but it's just like, it's easy to get back into your old patterns and your old ways of doing things. You start to lose the motivation you have for this fresh start, if that makes sense. I know I'm not the only one that feels that way, but I, I'm sick of my shit. I'm sick of, in my head, wanting to be this girl that, you know, in the morning, she spends five minutes, 10 minutes, cleaning, just tidying up. And then it never gets super messy where it's just like a whole big thing. There's so many little things that I always tell myself I wanna do when I wanna be, and then I don't follow through. And I think a really big thing about self-care confidence is following through on your own promises to yourself. And I am really good at not doing that. But I'm back from a long time away. And while I was away, I had a lot of time to think about my life, reflect and kind of just process everything. I think that's one of the most beautiful things about travel is getting outside of your usual day-to-day -day comfort, your usual routine, your autopilot. And that is one of the reasons why I just love travel so much is just switching it up and also experiencing new things and getting out there and just not focusing on my day-to-day -day stuff. So then when I come back from those times away, I have a new perspective and a new idea of what I wanna do, how to achieve my goals, how to be the person I wanna be. And today, Monday, I am using this as my first day back from my trip where I am going to be the person I wanna be going forward. Jella does kind of help and contribute to this version of me. Despite it sucking and hurting me and feeling hungover for the last few days, even though I haven't had a sip of alcohol, it has allowed me to wake up early and generally feel energized, except for this morning. But actually, I'm doing okay. Speaking of. Honestly, like as much as I loved, loved eating out for every meal, it was fantastic. Everything was delicious. I was really excited to come home and cook. It's honestly a luxury getting to cook in a kitchen and decide what you want to eat and have all the options that you so desire. And by the time I got home, I was so excited to have that luxury and to get to cook things. I love cooking. I actually really enjoy it. I find it like a nice little peaceful moment in my day. But for some reason, I tend to go for whatever is the fastest and the easiest thing. To make. Which don't get me wrong, I will likely still do. But I do wanna prioritize cooking more for myself. I'm cooking like 
things that are gonna make me happy because I actually do find a lot of happiness and joy when I do take the time out of my day to cook something for myself. Simple little things, but it is so easily overlooked for me and I go for whatever is the quickest. I'm all about efficiency. Maybe it's the Capricorn in me, maybe it's the laziness, it's hard to say. But most of the time, there is time in my day to stop and cook something that I'm going to enjoy. I just don't usually take it, but I'm gonna take it now. Whenever I get Chipotle, I always get an extra side of guac and then I kind of snack on it with things. So I'm dipping my fork in and then I'm eating my eggs. In case you missed it before I went away, I talked about changing my upload schedule. For the longest time I've posted three times a week, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I've done for I don't even know how long. And I think it reached a point where I started to, everything got a little blurry. And that's natural, it's normal, you know, you're working and that happens. But with doing what I do for a living, which is, my life is my job. There's a very strange balance and it's hard to find and I find myself struggling with that all the time. And that is why I decided to change my upload schedule to now twice a week, Tuesday and Friday. I just think ultimately I get to live a life for me instead of always living my life for what video I'm doing. And obviously people do live their lives around their jobs, but if I'm not doing well with myself, my job is also going to get affected and that's just, it's just not cool. So I'm really excited, I feel like I feel like this is gonna be really good for, for me, for my videos, for us, for just everything. And I'm really excited about it. I feel like it's probably one of the best moves I've made in a long time. But I struggled to make it. I felt like I was disappointing myself, not being able to keep up with three times a week anymore. I felt like I was failing. If I could do it before, why can't I continue doing it? Why am I struggling so hard with something I'm used to? And I think, it's easy to overlook that life changes <laughs> and you change and your priorities change. And sometimes you just have to alter, you know, your way of doing things to benefit yourself and benefit your future. It's easy to feel guilty, but I'm no longer feeling guilty for things. And I think we should all do that because it's easy. It's easy to fall into the pressure of everything and then feel guilty for not meeting a standard that's just unrealistic. So I'm done with that. Again, I am sick of my shit. I'm starting a new path here and I feel I feel really good about it. If you are also out there feeling like you need a change, do it on Monday. If you're watching this on Friday, take the weekend. Start your shit on Monday. Do things that are good for you. Prioritize yourself. You deserve it. My living room has been a work in progress since the day I moved in and I haven't taken the time to figure out what I want to do with the space. I love the space. It has all of the potential in the world. These ceilings are my dream, but I haven't done anything to the space. Like obviously I have the couch. That is the one and only thing that I, well no, not the one and only thing, but it's one of the main things in the space that's new here. Obviously I have the, the olive tree, which I love. It's seven feet. I have yet to get a thought for it. So it's just been looking stupid for months. This coffee table is the one from my old apartment. It's from Ikea. This couch is my favorite thing ever, but it's not like at all furnished. And I, getting back from this trip, I was like, okay, I have around a month until I leave again. And I just wanna finally figure out the direction I'm gonna take with the room. I want it to be cute, I want it to be cohesive, I want it to kind of fit with the space. I don't want too modern, I want something a little bit more earthy. I don't want it to be too white and like too neutral. I wanna have some different varying shades of wood. And for so long I was unsure of what kind of coffee table I wanted, which I thought was the way I was gonna figure out the rest of the room. I'm gonna document this whole process of actually, you know, furnishing the space, but I couldn't decide on a coffee table, which was step one for me. I was originally leaning, you know, go something nice and light and oaky, but then I was like, that's not gonna really add any oomph to the room. It's just kind of blending with the floor, but I'm pretty sure I figured it out. Last night I spent some time and I just, I just dialed in and I, I think I did it. According to my measurements, it's all working out. 
So I think I'm gonna place a fat order today. Get some things on its way, finally. But man, the jet lag is winning today. It's winning and I'm not feeling well. It's not just the tiredness, it's like my whole body feels out of whack and I just feel straight up hungover, like a deep hangover and it really just hit me an hour ago. And I'm powering through, we have another cup of coffee. I'm gonna make a nice kind of lighter lunch because I only ate you know, a couple hours ago. I'm not like too hungry, but I know some fuel will be good and maybe give me a little second wind alongside my coffee. So I'm gonna make something that my friend Caitlin makes. I always see it on her Instagram stories and it looks so simple, but like so good. Just some sweet potato rounds with avocado and some seasoning on top. I feel like it's gonna really hit right. <laughs> kind of just winging it and I'm throwing them in for around 20 minutes at 425 degrees and I'm hoping they'll come out good. We'll see. Okay, set 15 minute timer. Okay, we need more time. I'm gonna do some stuff until that's done but I'm ready. I feel like I'm getting heartburn from my coffee now. It's backfiring on me. Girls gotta do what a girl's gotta do. topped with avocado, salt, pepper, garlic, and then some everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna cut into one. You know what, I should've just, it's just gonna eat the whole thing. Mmm, mmm, that's really good. Truly so simple, but like nice. It's different than my usual. I usually just go for a rice bowl for every meal. So it's nice to have some variation here. And this is really delicious. best of me. Jet lag. Yeah. I had my little lunch and then after that there was no productivity. None. Nothing. I just, I was, I was up in the office. I was trying, but nothing. So you know what? I gave myself the opportunity to rest and I binge watched some Stranger Things. Haven't taken a day since getting back to just like sit on the couch. I've been working and then also working in the backyard, which you will see soon. Lots of fun updates. And so jet lag chose my day and it was this afternoon. I am at like 30% <laughs> right now, but I am actually going out, which is why I put clothes on. I'm going over to a friend's for an hour. She just moved down the street from me and I've been so excited and I like need to see her. So I've been kind of like saving up this last little bit of energy to spend an hour with her, catch up, welcome her back to the city of Toronto. So excited. Um, so I'm going to be out for an hour and then it's, an early night in. I'm gonna eat some leftovers for dinner, last night's dinner. It's gonna be good. And then I'm gonna read. Anyways, I just wanted to fill you in. That's what's going on with my day. Chicken, broccoli, cauliflower. I actually seem to be doing a little bit better after my outing. It was a beautiful, beautiful evening out there. It was a really nice walk, but I started to fade at the end. But at the same time, I think it's just overtiredness now that's set in. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna finish my episode of Stranger Things. And then it's book time. Finishing this episode of Stranger Things that I was watching. There's 20 minutes left. Finishing it before it's too dark outside because it is scary this season. It is a scary season. This is episode four of seven for like the first volume, volume one. I hope it doesn't get scarier at the end because it's a little too scary for me. <laughs> Shit. 
I am so tired, but I'm like, the end of that episode almost made me start the next one, but I am so tired and like, I just can't do another hour episode. A whole 9.30, 9.30 p.m. I've made it. You know, despite my afternoon not being as productive as I hoped it would be, it's important to remind yourself that it's okay. Tomorrow's gonna be a whole day of backyard stuff. I think you'll see that on Tuesday, but I truly love reading. I love reading. Before my trip, I really started getting into it and finding books that I genuinely was obsessed with. And now I've read a lot of books. I think I read three books on my trip. Colleen Hoover, love her. For June, I want to read at least three more books. It's kind of a goal I'm setting myself. I just really enjoy it. I find reading is a different kind of entertainment for me you know like watching a show obviously is something i've done for many years before bed it's just my go-to there's a special comfort in just sitting and watching a show but i find reading to be almost more enjoyable i feel like you make this little world in your head growing up i was never a reader like for school i never read the books i was a spark notes kind of gal but i've really wanted like a hobby that's off of a device even though this is obviously a device it doesn't really feel like it because it's it's just a different experience it also isn't like me scrolling on instagram or on tiktok it's just like a new addition to my life that i'm really really happy about i've tried to get into reading before but this time it seems to really be sticking i'm like really genuinely enjoying it and i find i keep downloading these books and like falling more in love with reading and it makes me really happy because it's something that i've wanted for a long time is to enjoy it or to even just like have some resemblance of a hobby. YouTube, filming, editing, that was my hobby before it became my full-time job and obviously still a hobby, but it's a little different when it's what you do for work. So I wanted something different and I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna start Ugly Love, stick to Colleen Hoover. I also downloaded the Mindfuck series as well as The Last Mrs. Parrish, but I don't I don't really know, I haven't heard much about that book. It just kind of sounded interesting. I think we're gonna do Ugly Love. That's what we're gonna do. 333 pages. I'm taking that as a sign, angel number. But this is where I'm gonna leave you. Probably gonna read for 30 minutes, go to sleep 10, 10, 15, and hopefully wake up to a slightly less jet lagged.